हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियरिंग एजुकेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल थैंक यू इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रॉब्लम 11.16 चैप्टर 11 रोटोडायनेमिक मशीनरी फ्रॉम द बुक अप्लाइड थर्मोडायनेमिक्स बाय टी जी स्टॉप एंड मिकोंकी The statement of the problem is a reaction turbine is supplied with steam at 60 bar and 600 degree centigrade the condenser pressure is 0.07 bar if the reheat factor can be assumed to be 1.04 and the stage efficiency is constant throughout at 80% calculate the steam flow required for a diagram power of 25000 kilowatt so first of all we will write the information given in this statement we have given the initial condition of the steam uh, pressure p1 which is 60 bar and also the temperature of the steam is 600 degree centigrade the condenser pressure p2 is 0.07 bar reheat factor represented by rf is 1.04 and it is defined from the enthalpy entropy diagram summation of enthalpy drop in the stage isentropic enthalpic drop divided by the total enthalpy drop or the total isentropic enthalpy drop or it can be also interpreted in terms of overall efficiency and stage efficiency so reheat factor is the ratio of overall efficiency and stage efficiency also stage efficiency is given and it is 80% the diagram power is diagram power is 25000 kilowatt only one thing is required in this problem to find and that is the mass flow required for diagram power of 25000 kilowatt so we have to find the mass flow rate which is m dot mass flow of steam so for solving this problem we will first need to check the enthalpy values and other properties of steam at this condition p1 is 60 bar and t1 is 600 degree centigrade so at these conditions when we check from the dry saturated steam table so we see there that the saturation temperature is less than this temperature so from this we can guess this the state of the steam is superheated or the steam lies in the superheated region so for that going to the steam tables are superheated steam tables at pressure 60 bar and temperature 600 degree c we have the value of enthalpy which is h1 and it is equal to 3657 kg kJ per kg and also the value of specific entropy which is s1 is equal to 7.166 kg 
किलो जाउल पर किलोग्राम पर किलोवन ऑल्सो वी सी दैट दिस इज वन एंड दिस इज टू एस सो द एंट्रोपी एट दिस स्टेट स्टेट वन एंड द इंथालपी एट दिस स्टेट विल बी इक्वल सो एस वन विल बी इक्वल टू एस टू एस ऑल्सो फाइंडिंग द वैल्यू ऑफ इंथालपी एट this state p2 is equal to 0.07 bar so again visiting the steam tables so when we check from the dry saturated steam tables so we see that the value of enthalpies and specific entropies for saturated vapor and saturated liquid are tabulated so from there the steam is in dry saturated form so we can write that is 2s is equal to s1 and it is further equal to sf plus x sf g we are interested to find this dryness fraction from this so s2s is known sf value is taken from the steam table 0.07 bar the value of sf is 0.5590 kilojoule per kilogram per kelvin similarly the value of sfg that is the specific entropy of the mixture and it is equal to 7.715 kilojoule per kilogram per kelvin at 0.07 bar and at s1 is equal to s2s is equal to 7.166 kilo joule per kilogram per kelvin so from this rearranging this expression for x2s we want to find the value of x2s so it will be equal to s2s minus sf divided by sfg so putting the values x2s is equal to the value of s2s is 7.166 kilo joule per kilogram per kelvin and the value of sf is 0.559 kilo joule per kilogram per kelvin and the value of sfg is 7.715 kilo joule per kilogram per kelvin so simplifying this we get the value of x2s which is 0.856 so this is the value of dryness fraction now further to find the value of h2s for that we have the expression for dry saturated steam which is hf plus x2s hfg so here again at 0.07 bar and entropy 7.166 kilo joule per kilogram per kelvin from the steam table we have the value of hf which is equal to 163 kilo joule per kilogram similarly we have the value of hfg and its value is 2409 kilo joule per kilogram 
we have also calculated the value of x two s. So now we can easily find the value of h two s. So h f is one sixty three, and the value of x is zero point eight five six into the value of h f g is two four zero nine kilojoule per kilogram. So simplifying this for h two s. we have the value of h2 is equal to double to 26 kilojoule per kilogram so now further we have the expression that is the overall efficiency is equal to h1 minus h2 divided by h1 minus h2s so we are interested to find the value of h1 minus h2 so we can write that overall efficiency into h1 minus h2s so here we know the value of h1 and h2s but the overall efficiency is unknown so we can find the overall efficiency from the expression that as it is mentioned above that the reheat factor is equal to from above diagram here reheat factor is equal to overall efficiency divided by stage efficiency so to find the value of overall efficiency rearranging that expression reheat factor will be multiplied with stage efficiency so overall efficiency is equal to reheat factor is 1.04 <coughs> and the value of stage efficiency is 0.8 so the value of overall efficiency comes out 0.832 so now in this we calculated the value of overall efficiency now putting the values in the expression H1 minus H2, that is the actual enthalpy drop. It will come out replacing overall efficiency with 0.832, and H1 is uh, given, and H1 value is basically 3657 kilojoule per kilogram minus H2S value is calculated here which is double to 26 kilojoule per kilogram so when we simplify this the difference are enthalpy drop comes out 1190.6 kilojoule per kilogram further in terms of enthalpy drop the diagram power is equal to mass flow rate into enthalpy drop that is the actual enthalpy drop h1 minus h2 so rearranging for m dot because we are interested to find the value of m dot mass flow rate so it this expression will become p by h1 minus h2 the diagram power is 25000 kilowatt so we will put the values of diagram power which is 25000 kilowatt divided by h1 minus h2 that is the enthalpy drop 1190.6 kilojoule per kilogram so both values are in kilo 
so there is no need to convert it to sample watt or joule per kilogram so simplifying this we get the value which is 21 kilogram per second so this is the mass flow rate value in kilogram per second so converting this value into kilogram per hour we will multiply 3600 seconds with 21 so the value of mass flow rate in kilogram per hour is 75600 kilogram per hour so the mass flow rate value is 75600 kg per hour so this is the required mass flow rate in this problem so this is the required solution of problem 11.16 thanks for watching please like and comment on my videos also subscribe my channel to get new videos